Royal Enfield is the oldest global motorcycle brand in continuous production since 1893. Despite its rich English heritage, today it is an Indian multinational manufacturing company with a solid lineup of bikes sold in all major markets. In this video, we'll briefly review all the contemporary models from the brand that might be available at dealerships around you. These motorcycles have attractive classic designs, incredibly affordable prices, and in the near future are expected to reach a hallmark milestone of selling 1 million units per year. Subscribe to Automotive Territory if you want to follow all the bike news for the upcoming model here and enjoy this ride. Royal Enfield Hunter 350 The latest member of the Enfield's 350 family is an economical city commuter that was made for maneuvering tight streets. The Hunter 350 is built on the all-new sportier frame fitted with light 17-inch alloys, tubeless tires, and a twin-shock rear suspension. The rod disc brakes on both ends, though the front one boasts a more sophisticated setup with a 300mm disc and a two-piston floating caliper. The engine is the familiar 350cc single with air and oil cooling, and it is paired with a 5-speed gearbox. The mill delivers 20.2 horses at 6100 rpm, has a peak torque of 27 Nm, and produces 115 km per hour speeds that can be reached in the fourth gear. The Hunter 350 has no riding modes or electronic assists, but it does come with a digital LCD screen, turn-by-turn -turn tripper navigation, and a dual-channel ABS. Royal Enfield Scram 411 The fan-favorite adventure platform of the Himalayan gives life to a dual-sport model with the Scrambler styling. It should appeal to the younger riders with more on-the-road riding ambitions, desires for a tamer riding experience, and a more stylish design. The Scrum 411 has a stripped-down look, blackout treatment, and mismatched wire wheels with dual-purpose tires. This Royal Enfield is brought into motion by a 411cc air-cooled single cylinder that tread lines at 6500rpm with 243 horsepower output and makes close to 32 Nm of twist. The basic package for the engine is electronic ignition and fuel injection, and it is connected with a 5-speed constant mesh transmission with wet multi-plates. The Scrum 411 has a very relaxed riding position of a standard bike with 795mm seat height. Its suspension is also rather tall, with 41mm conventional non-adjustable forks up front and a mono shock in the rear with 178mm of travel. Royal Enfield Himalayan Launched back in 2016, the company's small adventure tourer is getting the first significant revision in 2022. The bike keeps its reinforced half-duplex split cradle frame and offers 8.6 inches of ground clearance. The suspension system gets softer settings, but it still consists of a 41mm front fork with 200mm of travel and a spring preload adjustable mono shock with 180mm. The usual wire poke wheels swap Pirellis for the new Seed Crib XL Afro tires that measure 21 inches front and 17 rear. Royal Enfield also reworks the bike's ergonomics and makes it more comfortable during long distance rides. The windscreen is new and offers better protection. The seat gets improved padding and the rear and front tracks are updated. On the drivetrain front, the Himalayan continues unchanged. Its 411cc air-cooled single-cylinder is rated for 25 horsepower and 32 Nm of torque. Finally, this motorcycle benefits from standard navigation assist and a small LCD display. By the way, in 2023 the Indian company plans to bring to the market an all-new 450cc version of the Himalayan. Smash the like button to show your support for Royal Enfield. They have the potential to dominate the bike sales in the near future. Thanks for the feedback, and let's proceed. Royal 
Royal Enfield Classic 350. The brand's classic series of bikes has been on sale for two decades, establishing itself as a fantastic choice for beginner riders who want a reliable, forgiving and, of course, affordable ticket to the motorcycling world. In 2022, the new generation model sticks to Royal Enfield's simple and proven recipe. It retains the familiar silhouette that dates back all the way to the post-war years and blends it with the new tech and powertrain. The new Classic has a distinctive teardrop fuel tank, hallmark casket headlamp and a white saddle. The bike sits on a new twin down tube chassis that holds a 41mm non-adjustable fork and twin shocks adjustable for spring preload. On the power front, the reborn 350 gets an all-new air and oil-cooled 349cc J-series engine rated at 20 horsepower and 27 newton meters of twist. The model gets standard dual-channel ABS and disc brakes, the headlamp is halogen, and the analog speedometer is paired with a small LCD with basic info. Royal Enfield Continental GT650 Twin This is Royal Enfield's sportiest bike offering that sticks to the classic Cafe Racer single-seat design of 1960s and 70s and recaptures the spirit of the iconic Continental GT250. It is a sculpted 12.5-liter tank, durable frame developed alongside the legendary Harris Performance, and a finely tuned suspension comprising of twin coilover shocks and a 41mm front fork. Classic aesthetics are further reflected in the 18-inch 36-spoke alloy wheels, tucked-in riding position and clip-on handlebars. This mid-weight is powered by the Royal Enfield's most potent 648cc parallel twin engine, allowing it to rifle Triumph Bonville and Moto Guzzi V7. The smell is Euro 5 compliant, both air and oil cold, and makes 47 bhp at 7150 rpm and 52 Nm at 5,250. The stopping power comes from the Brembo-derived twin-piston calipers on 320 and 240mm discs with a Bosch 2-channel ABS. Royal Enfield Meteor 350 this is Royal Enfield's new entry-level cruiser, which arrives as a successor to the Thunderbird 350X. Revealed in 2021, the Meteor 350 was the company's first bike to get the all-new air and oil-cooled 349cc single-cylinder, which has now made it across the entire Enfield's 350 lineup. The J-Series engine produces 20 horsepower and comes mated with a 5-speed transmission. Suspension-wise, the Meteor gets a non-adjustable front fork and twin tube shocks with soft settings. It also gets a dual-channel ABS with Vibra brakes with a 300mm disc on the front wheel and a 270mm one at the rear. At the same time, the Royal Enfield Meteor has a huge Ford's class 15-liter fuel tank and a standard-fit navigation display from Tripper. On the accessories front, Touring enthusiasts can boost their Meteor 350 with a touring seat, tinted fly screen, and specially forged aluminum foot packs. Royal Enfield Continental GTR 650. As of today, Royal Enfield does not yet have a bike platform that would be able to compete on equal terms at international motorcycle championships. Therefore, for now the Indian manufacturer has established its own single makeup, which comprises of a grid of 25 race-prepared Continental GTR 650 motorcycles to provide a level playing field where the rider's skill makes the final difference. To turn the GT into a proper racer, Royal Enfield installed a free-flow race pack exhaust system which ensured a nearly 25 kilos weight loss and in addition a few horses. The 648cc Peril Twin now makes something closer to 50 bhp. Furthermore, the Royal Enfield GTR 650 got a shorter seat, new fairing, stickier race tech K1 tires 
and a stiffer suspension front and rear. The races are run as a Pro-M format, which consists of two categories – 10 professional riders and 15 amateurs who race on a common grid. Royal Anfield Classic – Divine To celebrate their Custom World initiative, Royal Anfield asked India's renowned custom builders to deliver a couple of projects based on the new Classic 350. Among them is the Divine, built by Neve Motorcycles. The company's founder wanted to style the bike as a bopper while keeping the exterior loud but classy. The project started with chopping off all the unnecessary details and extending the 350 Classic wheelbase. Then, all the parts of the bike, including the custom swing arm and fenders, were hand-built at the Neve premises. The tank itself took seven full days of work to complete, as it features three deep curves on top and gets dual gas caps. For their custom-built bumper, Neve chose a matte black color scheme, which they contrasted with gold leaf work and pinstripes on the tank, handlebar grips, foot packs, and airbox covers. Finally, ultra-thick 16-inch balloon tires finish the overall design. Royal Anfield Bullet 350 Considered to be a quintessential Royal Anfield bike, the Bullet is the longest-running model in the motorcycle history. Its roots go 90 years back, to 1932, when it was produced by the original UK company. Today, the Bullet is offered exclusively as a 350cc model that gets two guises, base and ES. The latter is distinguished by the brighter exterior color options, electric start and a larger 8 ampere hour battery with a phase 3 electrical system. Both bikes rely on a 346cc single that makes 19 horses and nearly 28 Nm paired with a 5-speed constant mesh gearbox with a wet clutch. The model has a conic design, rides on 19-inch tires, and comes equipped exclusively with analog gauges. Rumors also suggest that a refreshed version of the Bullet is already in the works, and it should introduce a larger 350cc engine as well as a more modern LCD instrumentation. Royal Anfield Interceptor In essence, this is a less radical version of the Continental GT650 with a standard design and a black premium touring dual seat. The contemporary model draws inspiration from the 1960s Interceptor, so basically embodies the British Roadster with a grain of California's Desert Tracer. The spec sheet is identical to the already discussed GT, therefore you get a 648cc parallel twin four stroke with a 6 speed constant mesh transmission and 47 horsepower. This engine, upright riding position, and a finely tuned suspension deliver superior balance and handling both in the city and on the highway twisties. The Royal Anfield Interceptor is available in seven body colors and can be equipped with a fly screen and a pair of soft panniers for added utility. What is your opinion about Royal Anfields? It is true that by the time they get exported from India, prices do go up a significant amount, but on the home market, they're unbeatable. Would you like to see more powerful models from the brands with 800 to 1 liter displacements? We'll discuss this in the comment section. Subscribe, share, and like this episode. More videos are on the screen. Remember to stand with Ukraine, and may the torque be with you!